Hey everyone, my name is Kayla and I'm Ronson and, and we, we are KR videos. videos, a semi brand spanking new channel. Yeah, we are. And we are back at it again with a highly, highly, highly requested video. Everybody's been wanting us to, to do another one of these videos. So mm -hmm. without further ado, Ronson, let them know what are we doing this well, today? Well, today we are going to be reacting to all of the songs sung by Tina Ko and Chang from season one and two. Yes. and. Cannot be more excited to be back doing another Glee video mm -hmm. to all of our Glee fans out there. Hello. And like we said, this is just one of three videos for all songs sung by Tina Cohen Chang. And this compilation that we're going to be reacting to, just a quick shout out to Big Blob of Nothing, one of our subscribers. Hey, thank you for putting together this com um, compilation of all songs sung by Tina. Mm -hmm. And that's his video, his, her, their video, whomever you are. Um, Big blob of nothing, you guys, you made this video, so thank you so, so much. And then this video was recommended that we do all songs, all songs sung by <laughs> Tina Cohen Jane. <laughs> Say that three times fast for me. Um, this video was recommended by Ellen B, Ponytail Killer Big Mouth, Big Blob of Nothing, of mm -hmm. course, and Chase M. So thank you guys so, so much for recommending this video. We hope you thoroughly enjoy it. And yeah, I can't be more excited. So I guess without further ado, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Excuse me, th this isn't the right key. No, it's actually the right key. No, this is the alto part. This yep. was never Tina's doing the solo. Oh! <laughs> she said, but this is the alto part. Yeah. Tina's Tina's voice is comparably very different compared to from the first season and the last one. I agree, yeah. I think she grew a lot mm -hmm. from first season to sixth season. Yeah. So go ahead, Tina. What song is this? Is this Katy Perry? Um, I yep, yep. My I got Ooh, I love the editing. Look at Tina. When was that one? Which one? Uh, with the black dress on. That one, that one. Wait, was that live? Is that the live one? Oh, this is the pilot. Oh, uh. oh, this is... Take a moment of silence because that's how they started, <laughs> and then and that's how and, and, and look at what they were able to accomplish. I think of they um, got a bigger budget. That's why. No, no, I'm just saying. In like, I know that they're all talented, the singers in mm -hmm. themselves, like the actors and actresses who played them. But the this was a little rough. This performance yeah. right here. So the fact that they went from this to doing stuff like the thriller slash off with your head yeah. uh, mashup. That's something that comes to mind always. Mm -hmm. uh, they did during halftime. That was incredible. Bigger budget, as I said. Not a bigger budget, yes. no. I just think they got more comfortable. They have more people, first of all, yeah. at that point. And they got the whole football team to help out. So that was awesome. So to see where we started, the origins, into what they became, it's quite a transition. <laughs> Creepy Will. But didn't she say she didn't say anything? That was only the second episode. I know. This was hilarious. <sighs> you remember this one? Yeah, I remember this one. Everyone was just like. Ooh, look at Tina. Oh, no, no, no. You can't touch it. <laughs> you can't touch it, not to think. So this just must be... This, this is her, like, back, uh, backup scene. Yeah, so it must include background scene. Showman. Oh, yeah. I forgot we had a little goth baby in the beginning. Mm. Season one. Tonight, I saw you and the world 
Preggers? We have this season, season one on DVD, mm -hmm. and we used to be in the car, yeah, and I'd just were, be like, like tears. No, and I was just look to my right. <laughs> tears over that episode. Wow, that was season one, episode ten. I love that. Stuff messed me up. It messed me up hard. <laughs> it's a terrible thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm, it did. That messed me up hard. Yeah, I, I, I really thought, and also she, she just. <laughs> If you haven't seen Bridge to Terabithia, Boop! and I was like, okay, it takes you on a journey. <laughs> it does. So this is this is what an hour. I'm gonna go back and some change in my life. Just off for nothing. It's okay. Mm. It's okay. We're gonna go back to the my life because I think we missed Tina. Let's see. We missed Tina. I didn't miss you, <laughs> but I can't let you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was it 
that good it tickled your nose hairs? Like, yeah. what in the world? <laughs> oh my gosh. Whew, yeah. you woke a few spirits with that one. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. All right. I wasn't expecting it. Sorry, y'all. It came out of nowhere. <laughs> Let's go back. It's come before closing books and long last looks must end. I don't know if that was creepy or that was. What? I don't know if that was creepy or. It was creepy. That was. No, it was creepy. I feel like a lot of like looking back on it, I think I said this in a previous video, but yeah, Will was kind of. It was some moments. On and off. Yeah, on and off. It was some moments, and I was like, hmm. But yeah. Okay, so total season one, Tina had about twenty features. Which is. And she only sang lead in like three two. of them. It was like two. Three. That one. The, the audition. Audition. And then the one where she was coming down the ladder. Preggers. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm Preggers. So she, and she only uh, sang lead in three of them. And that's not even what all the, the songs that one? we're saying. I told you, this one. She, she oh. had a solo <laughs> in this one. The one where she was coming down the ladder in Preggers and her audition. <laughs> it went in with the really, other Y'all see, he doesn't listen. I see? listened to 19 out of 20 of the songs. 19 out of 20. But I said it, so you just didn't listen. It's fine. It's cool. But yeah, awesome, Tina. Oh, right. No, so those three. I was like, <laughs> come at me. Oh, this was. I'm sorry, the image in the background, if anyone knows, that's from tonight. We are young. I thought that episode was also a crier because they finally came back together. Yes, Unity. Sorry. What can I give you in return? Oh, 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 oh. Such a good moment. Season two, here we go. Uh, oh. Getting to know all about you. Yes. Okay. Versus season one when they did salt right, and pepper. Right. Push it. They killed that. <laughs> push it. P push it real good. And it was the fanny packs for me. They had the fanny packs. Oh, Lord, not the fanny packs. Mm. Grilled cheeses? Grilled cheeses. Is that a song? An actual mm -hmm. song? No. Finn was making grilled cheese mm -hmm. and it so happened that he felt like the face of Jesus had been ironed, like had been burnt into the face of the grilled cheese so then he felt like he couldn't eat it. Oh. I'm pretty sure that was what it occurred. Okay. Mm -hmm, yeah. If I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so grilled cheeses. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can we go back to the vocals? You can't. Okay. I'm here from the TV side. Yeah. 
Oh. I love the outfits. Do they say stop me at the next I remember this episode too. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Oh my gosh, there's Lauren. Mm. I mean, this is a testament to their blending, but you can't always hear Tina. Yeah. Isn't that, no. That's Tina. Wham. Is that Tina? She did two extra songs. Love that. So let's do it. I agree with you. Uh, I agree with uh, you, Blob of Nothing. Big Blob of Nothing, you are correct. Three. Mm. Mm. Only solos. Interrupted. Two live songs. Two live songs. And three three solos. solos. So six in total. Yeah. So three were interrupted. Okay. So more. She stepped up. Yeah, she stepped up. Season two. Yeah. And they also had a bigger budget. <laughs> they just had more episodes. Season two. And also a bigger budget. No, <laughs> I don't think that has anything to do with. Yes, because you the have to songs. get copyright for the songs. Yeah. Depending. Yeah, depending on what song you used. Yeah. But I think the pure imagination one. Her cover? Yeah, that was fit the best her one. voice that was, perfectly. It was gorgeous. Or it was that garnered towards her voice. Yeah, it was gorgeous. Because Tina 
is she, i always thought she was more of an alto like maybe a mezzo soprano mm -hmm. but she her range when she was coming down the um ladder like that song mm -hmm. some goes. of those highs that she was hitting oh my gosh was and gorgeous. also when when she did a uh, time warp let's do the time she warp. had her like her voice was nasally i don't know yeah if she did it on purpose or if that was just we had to distort the video because of yeah. copyright because mm -hmm. boy do we understand mm -hmm. but yeah um wow tina definitely should have had more i feel like what we got it was always rachel it was always rachel. yeah she was the, like the main well, yeah, <laughs> yeah but, was rachel. but i even still i feel like mercedes got a little bit more like even though she wasn't like the focal point yeah. she still got a little bit more i feel like than tina yeah or just maybe may have been the nature of mercedes voice because her voice is very like she would Strong. always come in Strong. with like these incredible high or riffs. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Even in group songs, you could be like, oh, there's Mercedes. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Because you would know, even if it was just for a moment, a little riff that she did or she came in and gave some rasp or some attitude, whatever it was, you know, you knew that that was Mercedes. I feel like sometimes with Tina, there'd be moments where I'd be like, is that, is that it's her? It's because she blended in. Her voice blends very blends well. In well. Yeah, it blends very well. Like I said, a testament to that. Mm -hmm. But there are moments where you would be like in the group setting, you'd be like, is that Tina? Is it? You know, or you might confuse her for Rachel, but it's actually Tina singing. It might also be because she wanted to focus more on the acting portion of Glee. Maybe. Maybe. I think they just gypped Tina when it came to giving her songs, but it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Season two wasn't that bad. Mm. She had six, seven, eight. I'll count the duets, so eight in total. The three, three songs interrupted, interrupted, but that... I counted those. Okay. So eight songs ish. where she was at the, yeah, the forefront, eight-ish songs. Mm -hmm. But the duets that she did, oh my God, whenever she sang with Artie, mm. magical, magical. Did her and Artie date at some point? Yeah. I feel like there's a memory of her pushing Artie when they were dating. Off the... No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. But yeah, I think they did date for a minute. So, oh my gosh. Her... I don't know about that. Yeah, I think Tina and Artie were a thing. I don't, I don't remember. If so for a brief moment, it wasn't long. I feel like, mm. but I think they were a thing. So whenever they sang together, it was great. I'm here for it. Absolutely love it. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys! So let us know out of all the songs that we you saw from just seasons one and two, which one was your favorite mm. from Tina? What would you, are there any songs that you wish she would have performed that she never did? Like, do you think that would have been a great fit for her voice? Um, Define Gravity duet with. But they did do Define Gravity, but she just didn't sing it. Yeah. So you think she would be good for du that? I said a duet. Yeah. It would, wasn't a duet. It, it was, was a solo. Duet. It was a solo. Because, mm -mm, well, technically, Kurt and um, Rachel, they did sing it by themselves, but it mixed. Like they played a oh, member okay. side by yeah. side. So mm -hmm. I count that as a duet because it was, there were parts that merged together and blended very well. And there were some great harmonies in mm -hmm. that. But yes, technically Kurt and Rachel were competing. Yeah. Yeah. Because they were competing for the same position. Kurt killed that though. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> so I love it. So yeah, let us know if there's any other songs you wish Tina would have sang. Your favorite Tina Cohen song from seasons one and two. Mm -hmm. What would you say your favorite one was? Out of the ones we got to see. Her more her ones where she was at the forefront, not necessarily her background vocals. I liked uh I think it's called Get to Know You or something. Getting to No, 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 no. It was on the it was uh the Night of Neglect. That one. With the black dress. Oh yes. Um, where I said it was trippy. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that one. And ooh. Ooh. What's that song called? I mean, I love when she sang anytime she sang with Artie, but I think I, I like her section of marry you mm. i think i want to marry mm -hmm. you i just enjoyed that episode in general because it was like the melding of finn and kurt's family mm. it was cute it was a cute episode so i think that that's gonna be my favorite that one or pure imagination and real quick y'all can we discuss the beginning of this video rachel <clears throat> this is in the wrong key what kind of oh my mess? gosh that... yeah <clears throat> oh i said rachel why <laughs> why rachel rachel is <sighs> Narcissistic. <laughs> you think she was narcissistic? Yeah, she was narcissistic. At least in the first season. She got better. She got better. Did she? Yeah, she did. She got better. 
She wasn't, she wasn't as annoying. I found her hilarious. Was it season five? Oh, I'm so tired. I think I got to go home when she was playing <laughs> Yentl, Yentl the matchmaker. Do you remember that? When yeah. her and Santana and Kurt were living in New York but, after they graduated. I thought she was great that season. What do you mean? Not that she wasn't great the other season. She was just a bit annoying. Yeah. Yeah. But that season, I thought she was great. <laughs> That's because she grew, like you said, she did grow out of it. She got better. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all, let us know what you think. Which Rachel was your, which season was of she, Rachel was she your favorite? Was she narcissistic? Uh, <laughs> there's a question for you. But yes, guys, we really hope you enjoyed this look back at, I felt like I was getting a, a look back at seasons one and right. two of Glee. It was a beautiful journey. Um, so yeah, just answer all of those questions. If, you, if something stood out to you, let us know. Mm -hmm. If there's anything else you want to say about seasons one and two of Glee, just your favorite song in general. Um, most likely we'll know what you're talking about. If not, we can always look it up. Because right. like we say in every single video, we look at, at every, every comment, go through every comment, laugh. We truly enjoy seeing what you guys have to say mm -hmm. and reliving memories with you guys and our own memories of Glee and stuff like Gosh. that. Because this was such a great time um, growing up. Yeah, Glee was very, very enjoyable. Yeah. Like, I remember coming home, seeing Glee on, be like, oh, snap. I gotta hurry up, I gotta rush. Yep. And then the Glee project, when that came on, I was like, ooh, who's gonna be the next the member of Glee? The drama, who's gonna get cut off? Yep, that was incredible. So yes, guys, just feel free in the comments mm -hmm. to let us know any and all of your memories with Glee. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I hope you thoroughly enjoyed mm -hmm. this video. So before we do close it out again, we, I just want to thank all of our subscribers and watchers. Thank you guys so, so much, because without you guys, there would be, you know, KR videos wouldn't be mm -hmm. what it is. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. We hope you continue to enjoy and to watch and to like and to comment and all that good stuff. And be sure to follow us on our Instagram page, krvideos.official. Yes, so comment feel free. Down below. Mm -hmm. Feel free to see, follow us here. That's our Instagram. Mm -hmm. Feel free to be our friends and follow our personal Instagrams. That's also down below in the description box as well. And yeah, without that, you know, we hope you like comment subscribe and come, come by, by with, with us. us thanks guys thank you guys see you guys later peace